hey guys welcome to coding simplified and now we'll solve a new problem in linked list so basically we are given a string and we need to check that whether this string is a palindrome or not right so the difference is that this string is formed in terms of linked list right and this is basically formed with each character in a single node so like if you see so my string is evava this is my string but this is formed in case of each character in a single node so like the, here i have e then v a v and a right so i need to check that whether this uh, string is a palindrome or not right so I, so first of all we will check the logic that uh, how to solve this then we will see through java code that how we can code it and then we will see what will be the time complexity and space complexity of this problem right so uh, now if you see so what string we can have so like this so we can have odd uh, odd character list so here in this case e v a v e so this is again a palindrome now this is this is also true here we have even even characters so here we have e v a a v e so this is also a palindrome and if you see this one this is evavp so this is not palindrome because uh, like obviously this e and p are not the same right so now and this string is formed in terms of characters so like if i represent this one to this one so here uh, the starting from so the starting from e i have e then v then a then v and e right so now uh, what we what should be the logic to check that whether this is a palindrome or not right so uh, we can have two thing the one logic is what we can do we can simply we can simply first of all uh, convert it this link list into a string and then we can apply the logic to check that whether a simple string is a palindrome or not right so this is how we can do so like first of all i will convert this link list into simple string so let's say so so how can i create this linked list i can basically i will simply start from this node and one by one i will add this uh, i will append this node into my string so after after going till the end my string will be e v a v e right and now i can apply the logic that whether my string is palindrome or not right so what i can do this is how i do it that uh, basically i know the string length so i start uh, i take one variable here and one variable at the end and i check if both variables are same or not right because once i've created once i've converted into a string then it's very easy right because uh, because i can simply take str dot caret and uh, the starting node and the end node then i will simply increase the starting node and end node and i will again check that whether these are matching or not right so here i again i will check right so because now i am i have reached a single index so at last i can say yes um, the complete string is a uh, palindrome right so this is the one thing that we can do and what will be the complexity so to solve this complexity that first of all i will convert this into a string so to converting uh, complexity is big of n and to check uh, from here to here uh, the complexity is again big of n so overall complexity is big of n right so this is a one solution this is a basic solution but generally uh, but generally the the interviewer ask that that this is the basic thing that you are doing because you are just converting into a string and then you are applying the logic of checking on a string that whether this string is a palindrome or not so generally they ask to solve in terms of the linked list uh, thing like solve this question in terms of linked list right so now let's see the another logic what we can do so first of all uh, i will basically uh, i'll basically convert or i will basically find out the middle element of this one so like in this my middle element uh, is this one right and then i will take i will i will create another list after this middle element right it means that my first list will be e v and a and my second list will be v and e right so now i have two list so after the middle element i uh, my second list starts now i will reverse this list so after reversing it will be ev and now i will compare both elements one by one 
right so like in this case uh, I have E so this E and E matches right again this V and V matches yes and at last if we have the single node left in this one and if we have no element left in this one it means we have odd element so it means we can say yes our list is palindrome right now uh, let's take example of the even so what will happen in the even case that even case I will like this will happen E V A then A then V and then E and then after that we have null right so find out the middle element is this, this one so my middle element is this one so it means my second list would start from here to here and my first list is here to here right so I will reverse this list so it means E V and A now one by one I will compare the each character so this this matches yes this this matches yes and this this also matches and after that both list are null it means I can say that this is not this is also a palindrome but let's say if it if it is not palindrome like this case so in this case what will happen that uh, basically my list will be E then V and then A and then my second list will be V and P so I will uh, reverse this one so P and V and here I have E V A so I will match this this P and this E are not matching so as soon as uh, if any character is not matching I can say my palindrome my string is not palindrome my link list is not palindrome right so that's that's how we'll solve this problem and that's how we can check that whether whether a link list formed by characters of a string is a palindrome or not right now what will be the time complexity of this one so uh, what we are doing if you see here first of all we are basically finding out the middle element so to finding out the middle element complexity is big of n now I am reversing the second list so this is again big of n and then one by one I am comparing the characters so that is again big of n right so overall time complexity is big O of n this is my time complexity now what would be the space complexity so uh, this is my time complexity now about space that as such I am not using any space right if you see I am I am only playing in between I haven't I, I haven't taken any array or I haven't taken anything right so my space space complexity is constant so I can say it as big O of 1 right so this is about the complexities and now I will show you uh, this logic through code that whatever I explained to you how we can uh, do it in code so this is how I create the list here I am creating the list where I have E V A and V E and here it is my main function where I am passing the head node and where it is checking that if link list of string forms a palindrome or not right so first of all I am checking that if head is null it means uh, there is no such node and my link list is null so it means this is not palindrome I am simply returning false now if I have only single node in list it means this string is palindrome right now if it is not the case then uh, I explained first of all I will convert this single link list into two link list so for that I am first of all finding out the middle element and then I am reversing the second part so once I have reversed then I am basically making the second half so second half will be the middle dot next right and guys I am not explaining that how we can find out the middle node and how you can reverse the list we have already explained in our previous tutorials so you can see those videos right but anyhow I will just copy the complete source code so you can copy uh, and you can see that how I how I'm explaining the middle node and the reverse right but anyhow if you want to know how we are doing that you can see my previous tutorials right so once you once you have find out the middle element and once you have reversed the second list then you have the second half and you have the head node which is the original node till middle right and I'm also doing middle dot next original so that in the first I have the uh, in the first list I have the elements till middle node and in second half I have the elements from second half from middle element to the last element right and I have already reversed the second half now one by one my aim is to my aim is to check that whether the whether these elements are matching or not
and if at any position they are not matching then i can simply say that it is not palindrome right so this is why i am doing that if uncheck until head is not null and second is also not null and if head of data and second of data is not matching then you can simply return false else you will update head equal to head of next and second equal to second of next right so what will happen that uh, at last so we we can have two condition that if you are in total your linked list has the odd nodes odd number of nodes it means the first list will have one node greater than the second list right and because we are taking the middle element so we are taking that middle element if if our odd case right so if you see from here that if it is a odd case so here we have the three elements and in second half we have two elements and if it is a even nodes so both both the list will have the even even nodes means equal nodes right so if it is a case then we can be sure so that's why we no we don't need this condition and at the starting we are taking if palindrome is true so if we pass this condition right if we pass this condition then we are sure that our linked list is palindrome right because if elements are not matching so it will simply return false here but if elements are matching and at the last will so either will in case of uh, in case of odd nodes will have the one element uh, will will remain in a first list so anyhow we can say that the elements uh, that uh, overall string is palindrome or in the case of even nodes will match the complete list and both head and second list will be equal or null right so once we are done once we have checked that uh, linked list is palindrome after that we need to again Uh, we need to again rearrange the second half in our position so that is why we are doing that middle of next again reverse the list and then update into middle of next right and after that uh, just return that whether this is a palindrome or not right so that so this is how we'll solve this problem and again uh, i can also show you once through debug that how it is working fine or not so uh, this will give me the middle node this will give me the reverse link list and let me show you that what is in head so in head i have e v and a right and in second half i have e and v right and now one by one i will compare the elements and after that uh, after that my second is null right but head is not null but still this is fine because only sing single elements remain here and after that i will again append the uh, reverse i will again rearrange in the same location same position as it was original and after that i will check that uh, this is palindrome or not right but let's say if i have the even nodes so in case of even node also check this is again true but let's say if it is not true so in this case also check that this is giving me false right So this is how we have seen that uh, how to check that whether a whether a string is palindrome or not, which is in form of linked list. Right? And guys, if you want to copy the source code, whatever we have explained, so you can copy from this link, and I will also put this link into description, so you can copy from there, and you can you can copy whatever we have explained, and then you can execute at your end that whether it is working fine or not, and then you can debug also. So that's it guys about this video and if you have any doubt regarding this video please write in the comment section and I would try to explain that and if you think that uh, there are other good approaches or there are any, any different approaches please also mention in the comment section and let's discuss there so thanks guys for watching the video and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you